You're watching Explore Tulsa. When I moved in, Caddy Corner House, where the Guthrie Green is now, uh, used to be a trucking company. So there were tractor trailers that came in during the morning and were gone by the evening. It was a desolate, dark, foreboding place. Uh, the warehouses across the street, where Channel 6 is now, uh, were just boarded up old warehouses that hadn't been used in decades. Uh, the museums down the block down were also boarded up. I remember the night they turned light on in those buildings after I'd been here for several years. It was nice to see light in the neighborhood, you know? So I've just watched it all grow around me, starting with the ballpark and then the race riot memorial and then the Guthrie Green and then the museums and then Channel 6 and, and it's still growing. I love the old building, the Gypsy building, which was originally Gypsy Oil by A.K. Warren and J. Paul Getty. Uh, I'd looked at the building 14 years before I bought it and ended up buying a house in Maple Ridge instead on South Cincinnati and came back 14 years later. It was just the right time and right place. Uh, I wanted a warehouse. Uh, I wanted uh, a home that I could roller skate in and I can here, you know. Uh, I wanted uh, my coffee and croissant first thing in the morning, and there were no coffee houses in Tulsa 18 years ago. Uh, I think Nordagio's, who does Rosar beans, was the only one even remotely open. When we started out, it was like a 1960s beatnik came out hangout, you know, unmatched furniture and everywhere, and, and we stayed open. We tried different hours. We stayed open 24/7 from Thursday through Sunday, and. Tulsa just wasn't a 24-hour town back 18 years ago. It might be more so now that there's thousands of people living down here in the neighborhood. But I used to go walk my dog at night and never see anyone. Now I, I can't walk and not see someone. You know? So it's, it's, it's changed. It's happening. When I first moved here, you never saw family down here at all. Now you see families going to the ball games, to the museums, to the Guthrie Green, to the race ride memorials, busloads of kids doing uh, field trips down here to learn more about our past and our good and bad, you know. So it's, it's been a positive thing for Tulsa as, a, as an environment. We have uh, 50 different syrups. We also have 40 different varieties of loose leaf teas as well from China. So we're not just a coffee house. We also serve deli sandwiches and food. Uh, we have uh, in-house uh, bakery uh, chef that does all our pastries and baked goods uh, in-house daily. Uh, we get gourmet coffees from all over the world uh, so we and we pre prepare it in every different type of preparation you can think of. Cold brew, slow drip, uh, uh, drip coffee, Chemex pour overs. We do every type of application there is uh, with the exception of nitro which we're, which we're looking into. We've had uh, everything from 8 to 80 in here. We don't discriminate against anyone. Uh, my favorite saying is we tolerate everything except intolerance, uh, and we do. Uh, so it was important to me to, to, to encourage and, and create a, a place where people could create uh, and express themselves creatively without censorship or, or worry about what other people were going to think about them. And there was really no place like that in Tulsa at that at 18 years ago, you know. I mean, other than bars. It's a good place to come and meet new people, express yourself creatively. Uh, we have the longest running open mic night in the state of Oklahoma. Uh, over a thousand weeks standing running consecutive with not a single cover song sang or played in my place of business. So it's all original work, all original materials done by all original Oklahomans. I had no idea that the neighborhood would blow up like it has around me. I was hoping I would have my Bohemian hideaway a little bit longer, but uh, I'm happy with what's gone on in the Tulsa Arts District. It's uh, pretty amazing, actually.